Hey everyone and welcome to the channel, my name is Ash and today I'm doing a quick review for Space Ribbon on the Nintendo Switch. Now Space Ribbon is a futuristic car racing game that sort of has slight dalliances with Mario Kart and F-Zero style mechanics. Now, the story of this game is that it's set in the year 2132 and the Earth's remaining resources have been mined to create Space Ribbon, a reality TV racing platform set in the far reaches of the galaxy. Giant pandas and tigers spew illuminated ribbons of solid space junk from their mouths, which are basically the Space Ribbons. So humans compete by racing on these platforms uh, using the beaten up cars left strewn across the dystopian earth of 2132. And it's basically become the fastest growing sport in the galaxy. And basically the aim of the game is to drive along these tracks that have been spewed out of these giant like panda heads and basically get to the end and drive into the, the mouth basically. Um, yeah, that's that's it. It's a weird game, um, where you're basically you're driving like old battered cars, but on like futuristic space tracks in space, trying to catch you up with a giant panda head. Now, I do like a good kart racing game, a good racing game in general. This one, like I say, it has feelings of both F Zero and sort of trying to be Mario Kart. So, in the Mario Kart aspect, it has the sort of weapons and abilities so you have your buttons for both defensive and offensive weapons which is nice however what you get the weapon sort of availability is pretty slim and you only really get like lock on rockets for attack which take forever to lock on um, and also the F-Zero side is all about the slipstream, like it's got getting up behind your um, opponents, drafting, like, like drifting, drafting behind them, and then shooting past them to get like a boost of speed. Now you can also drift as you're driving to build up a boost which you can use, however the game really forces you to be behind your opponents um, to get boosts, otherwise like I say you can be miles ahead and then they just come flying past you like it's really rubber banded like I know in sort of like kart racing games it's very rubber banded the, the f people further back can catch up but like I can be miles ahead and then suddenly they're flying past me at absolute crazy speeds and then I'm seventh by the end of the lap now there is a variety of different tracks to play through um, they're slightly varied but they're all basically sort of metallic here and twists and turns there's not a huge variation to how they look but like i say there are a variety of different tracks and modes to play and apparently there's never the same track twice because it uses um procedural ai to sort of generate each of the tracks in each of the areas so that's a nice little um tweak but also like I say you can never truly learn a track if it changes every time now there's different types of racers some of them don't even use the weapons which is a bit rubbish um, it just becomes a basically um, see who can boost from behind their opponent the most um, but the game does feature two different classes of cars with four different cars in each of them so for eight different cars all in each with their own strengths and weaknesses as you progress you unlock extra cars and upgrades so you can improve your engine grip and your slipstreaming abilities um, and also you do have optional split screen mode for up to four players as well so that's nice that it has a four player local split screen and it's not the worst looking game like I say for, for a budget title um, it's four ninety nine dollars on the Nintendo eShop you're going to get a, a bit of content and a bit of time out of it but I feel like if you haven't got friends to play it with, it'll get samey and a bit boring fast. The controls are a bit wishy-washy. You'll end up spinning or being blown up and frustrated. It does get better the further you get in once you start to be able to upgrade and unlock new cars and you get used to it. It's not bad, but the first handful of sort of like racers are really dull, unfortunately. It's not a good start, which is a shame for it because you want your like first impression to be really good in the game. But overall, it's an okay attempt at a game, a racing game. It had promise, especially with like the, the 
drifting and they're sort of slipstreaming past people but the the focus is too much on being behind your opponents to get that then being ahead you, there's no real way to stay ahead once you're in front you just get absolutely annihilated so you end up having to slow down towards the end of the race to make sure you're behind someone so you can get that last minute sort of pip towards the finish line and that holds it back unfortunately but that's that for this video guys hope you've enjoyed it if you have hit that like button hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more content Bye for now.